solar winds traveling 2.1 million km an hour heading to Earth. Today we got an interesting news that the solar winds flies 2.1 million kilometers per hour heading to Earth. Is it dangerous to our planet? Is this the end of everything on Earth? Let's talk about it in this video. Before that, please click the subscribe button below. The solar wind with a speed of more than 2 million kilometers an hour are on course to hit Earth. And scientists say this may interfere with satellite technology on the Earth. The flow of solar particles from the sun to the Earth may cause technical problems. Solar storms can damage satellite-based technology. Because they heat the Earth's outer atmosphere, expand it, and make it harder for satellite signals to reach the ground. Experts said that the solar wind flies toward the Earth at a speed of 600 kilometers per second and may trigger a G1 storm. A G1-class solar storm can lead to weak power grid fluctuations and can have a minor impact on satellite operations. Astronomy site Space Weather stated, Earth is entering a stream of solar wind flowing from a northern hole in the sun's atmosphere. Forecasters expect wind speeds to top 600 km per second on January 20-21. Possibly fast enough to spark a minor G1-class geomagnetic storm. Arctic auroras are likely. When solar particles hit the atmosphere, they produce northern lights, aurora borealis, and southern lights, aurora australis. As the solar wind bombards the Earth's magnetosphere, the northernmost and southernmost regions will show amazing light in various tones. Although this storm is expected to have little impact on the Earth, scientists warn that a serious technological damaging solar storm may occur on average every 25 years. Research by the University of Warwick and the British Antarctic Survey analyzed the 14 most recent solar cycles 150 years ago. The analysis showed that severe magnetic storms occurred in 42 out of the last 150 years and great super storms occurred in six years out of 150. The last big solar storm occurred in 1989 when a serious power outage occurred in Quebec, Canada. In 2012, another major storm triggered by a large coronal mass ejection CME from the sun almost missed our planet. Researchers believe that if a storm hits the Earth, it may destroy the technology on our planet. Professor Sandra Chapman, lead author of the University of Warwick's Center for Fusion, Space and Astrophysics said, These superstorms are rare events, but it is estimated that their chance of occurrence is the mitigation needed to plan and protect key countries' regions an important part of the level infrastructure this research proposes a new method to approach historical data to provide a better picture of the chance of occurrence of super storms and what super storm activity we are likely to see in the future the largest technical catastrophic solar storm occurred in 1859 when electricity surged during what is now called the carrington event and its intensity was so strong that the entire European telegraph system went down. There are also reports that some buildings have caught fire due to power surges. We hope that this incident will not cause major damage to our planet. In the Bible, we warn that in the last days, there will be terrible sights, and there will be great signs from heaven. In Luke chapter 21 verse 11 it says, there will be great earthquakes, and in one place after another food shortages and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights and from heaven great signs. This is it. If you want to know more about the signs of the last days, please check it out in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you are not a subscriber of our channel, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon below. Keep safe everyone.